Hello, it's time for Brulent Tower version 0 0.40 badge worthy. Now, a lot of this was uh, fixes and tweaks based on the recent release I did, but I'm going to go ahead and point out some of the bigger stuff too, so we're going to make this a little quick. Uh, I need to actually select the window though, don't I? That's just obviously terrible. Uh, do, 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 do I think it would be best? Here we go. Uh, I'm not gonna go over like the little bug fixes, there'll be notes. There's gonna be things like I fixed some descriptions in uh, Super King's place. Uh, I added a couple jokes there. Um, I gave, uh, I fixed something in Mary Ann's place. And let's see here. In the gym, there's a new NPC. This here is Thatra. Hey, adorable. And she's cooked him in. I know she's not technically a servile, it's just too good of a pun right now. I'll think about it. <laughs> so, one little Easter egg. So she talks, so she basically says that, but if you go for a talk to Punchbag... There's also some extra flavor text throughout the gym. Uh, describe, describe the bump, dumbbells and that sort of thing. All the lockers uh, have descriptions. Let's see here. Uh, I skipped the intro. I really should go back and show the intro real quick, sorry. So you'll see this new Claude planet, that's uh, what I've nicknamed it, and also I've made the other planet look better. It's not... I might still add some extra detail to it, but it's pretty good the way it is. You'll also notice a very small change that the text is easier to read. I did some adjustment on the kerning on a couple letters and their sizing, so the P's and the Q's don't stand up as high. Rulant Tower itself has some descriptions now. There's an extra NPC here who is not a specific NPC right now. Uh, they are to be determined. They might be a recurring character, kind of deciding what to do with them. The apartment signs now have a actual arrow in the uh, in the text file, I've, I've, like I said, I changed, made some changes to the text. I will go and talk to She's a Paul real quick while I'm reading. Uh, a couple locations have uh, temporary music. As you've heard, some of it might change, some of it might not. Um, sorry, I'm skimming my notes as I go. But I might as well get to the all-important room, the room that is most important to this update, the big one. Are you ready? It's the broom closet. Well, that's it. Thank you again for watching, and I feel- Okay, okay, okay. Obviously there's something going on. 
Um, first of all, enjoy how when you go in, the music gets quieter. And we'll hang around for a second. Isn't it kind of weird how it's offset off to the right like that? Isn't that strange? Doesn't that make you think there's something in here? I should just go around a little more. Hmm. How odd. It's weird also this is the only room with narration too. Anyway, I'll let you explore that a little bit more at your own leisure. You may be disappointed or you might be entertained. We'll find out. Um, so basically really small stuff. UI changes. The, I changed the shading around this text box. Um, it's not consistent right now, so I need to change it further, but it looks better. There is a track now for the step usage. So anytime you go upstairs or change floors on the elevator, it keeps track of that and that will apply potentially to later events. And there's not a lot else I can really go through beyond that. Yeah, that'll pretty much cover it. Um, thank you again. And thank you for supporting me, including the wonderful people like SoFox, Jessica Bumpus, Dark Dekumon, AA Kitty, Fox the Supreme, and James. Uh, you can play this right now on Patreon, Subscribestar, uh, on the private branch on HIO. It'll go public on HIO in about two weeks, let's say. Um, if you're watching this video publicly by then, obviously it has gone public if it's on YouTube. Um, so thank you very much, and you have a wonderful day now.